I want to introduce you to another scripture, which is called the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita, which means the Song of the Lord. The Bhagavad Gita is very, very popular in Western societies. This little booklet, again about the size of the Gospel of Mark in the New Testament, um, called the Bhagavad Gita. Again, a story. I told you the story of Udalak and Svetiketu. Now the story of the Bhagavad Gita. In the Bhagavad Gita, there's a war going to happen. And um, Arjuna, is an officer in the army. This war is an inter nicene war. It is a war between family. So here's Arjuna leading his chariot into the war. His charioteer is Krishna, the man driving the chariot. We talked about meta-narratives earlier on in this class. Here is the classic Hindu meta-narrative. So he's going into war. Krishna is his charioteer. Arjuna is horrified about what is going to happen. For today, he will be killing his cousins. This is what he says. He's talking to Krishna, his charioteer. Krishna, Krishna, now as I look on these, my kinsmen, arrayed for battle, my limbs are weakened, my mouth is parching, my body trembles, my hair stands upright, my skin seems burning, the bow, Gandiva, slips from my hand, my brain is whirling, round and round, I can stand no longer, Krishna, I see such omens of evil, what can we hope from this killing of kinsmen? Evil they may be, worst of the wicked, yet if we kill them, our sin is greater. How could we dare spill the blood that, you, that unites us? Where is joy in killing of kinsmen? What is this crime? I am planning, O Krishna, murder most hateful, murder of brothers. Am I indeed so greedy for greatness? Wow, what a pathetic crying out. I mean, he, here his cousins are that he grew up with. He's going to be killing them today in this internecine war. Krishna, Krishna, how can it happen? How can I ever do this? He is absolutely appalled. And what does Krishna say? Arjuna, you are a chatriya. What's a chatriya? Chatriya caste? What is that? Do you remember? The Kshatriya are the warrior caste. So you need to do your duty. Krishna says, In the beginning the Lord of beings created all men to each his duty. Do this, he said, and you shall prosper. Duty well done fulfills desire. If a man plays no part in the acts thus appointed, he is living as evil, his joy is in lusting. Now th know this, O Prince, his life is for nothing. What's he saying? What is Krishna saying? Krishna, the charioteer, is saying to Arjuna, you are Kshatriya. The job of Kshatriyas is to rule and, you remember, fight. They're the warriors. That's good karma. If you don't fight today, if you don't fight today, then you are not obeying the law of your caste. And that's bad karma. And it guarantees that your fate will be terrible in the next reincarnation. So Krishna says to Arjuna, do your duty. That is the good. <laughs> and if your caste, in its caste laws, have determined that today you shall kill your cousins, then not to kill your cousins would be very evil and very wrong. That would be bad karma which would bring you destruction. That's the message. And suddenly, 
Arjuna's eyes are open to realize that this Krishna, his charioteer, is not just the charioteer. Ah, he is a god, the god Vishnu. He is the god Vishnu, the god who preserves the moral order. Vishnu has become incarnated into Arjuna. <laughs> so he is now an incarnation. He's the incarnation of, uh, of Vishnu. So it's not just Krishna speaking. Krishna is the voice of the divinity Vishnu. So he's speaking with absolute authority. He is an incarnation. So what's the message of the Bhagavad Gita? Follow the law of your caste. If you don't follow the law of your caste, that is bad karma and it will determine a wrong fate for you in the next reincarnation. So Arjuna, now is the time to fight. So go and fight. That's the message of the Bhagavad Gita. Now, Krishna goes on to say to Arjuna, I'm going to give you advice on how to get off of this wheel of reincarnation all the time. And so the rest of the Bhagavad Gita is a description of how to get off of the wheel of incarnation. And we'll talk about that in the next session. Have you benefited from our teaching ministry? Have you found TVS videos helpful and relevant? Please consider supporting us with your prayers and financial gifts. For more information, visit tvsseminary.com.